welcome to another version of First and Ten with Rams football coach Joe Prudhomme. I'm Jimmy the St. Christopher. Last Saturday, the Rams had a bye two Saturdays ago. They were out in Arizona and fought Arizona Christian. It was a 36-29 loss, but the club was down 21 nothing, and then they were leading at the half, 22-21. Take us through, kind of recap that game for us. Um, we, we came out and were really kind of flat at first. We didn't, you know, didn't execute very well, had a few missed tackles and busted coverage, and they looked up and they were up on us 21 nothing. And, you know, you kind of had that thoughts through your head like, oh, where are we going to go? It was kind of a crossroads moment, I thought, for us. Either we were going to revert back to where we were or the direction we had been going. And there was just kind of this energy and this surge of, of we can do this. Let's get this going, you know. And, and several of the guys who had been here last year were really pumping the sideline up and let's make plays. And next thing you know, we go down, score, uh, have a, a uh, punt return that Diamond Williams was just electric on for a, a score. And, and we get in it. You know? And unfortunately, if we don't miss a field goal and two extra points, we're kicking a field goal to win it at the end. Um, but we had some protection issues. But no, it was it was fantastic. The energy was was great. The kids' belief in themselves, and it's just a brand, it's the new Rams. I mean, they're they're a different mindset. What kind of game plan did you have for them? Was it similar to you know the week before when you got your first win against Texas College? It was somewhat similar, uh, but in the same token, it was a little bit different. Um, Arizona Christian was a little bit more. Um, they self-scout very well, so some things you thought were going to work, they changed on you. So, like we had talked about the last time, you know, they're very well coached, mm -hmm. they're they're very well prepped. But also with that, they do some things that you can kind of depend on seeing, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so they they were doing some things that we could kind of uh, count on. So we were able to to attack that and plan it. The offensive game plan was was outstanding. The defensive game plan was really really good. We just missed some tackles, uh, but we were we were in very aggressive mode in that game. And you're down again 36 to 22, mm -hmm. and of course the 21 nothing deficit to start. But how proud are you of them at that no quit attitude? Oh, I was very, I told them after the game, I said, nobody likes to lose, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm happy that we lost, but I am going to tell you I'm proud of your effort. I'm proud of the way you fought. Uh, nobody quit, nobody gave up, everybody was, was on board, and, and I mean, they, just, they never thought they would lose. They just thought there was no way they would lose. And, and that, we're getting to that point, which is really, really good. You just have to fight back the frustration that sometimes they get because they are a very emotional group. So that when they get up there, they, they really felt we, like we were going to win it. And I did too. I had two good shots at the end zone, and uh, neither one of them worked out. What did ACU do differently on defense in that second half? Uh, they, they got into man coverage and they, they took away. We were doing a lot of empty sets and we were able to attack them with that. Uh, but they stiffened up the coverage. Also, they, they were attacking the box a little bit more. Uh, it took away the rushing game. We weren't able to run the ball quite as well. Uh, but we made a few adjustments on our own and were able to, to get going again. What kind of improvement did you see from receivers Cole Maxwell and then Brandon Reeves? Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, Brandon came in and played a lot for um, – for Lamont, Lamont was banged up a little bit, and, and he did some, you know, did a really good job. Cole Maxwell, we've been kind of waiting on him to get free and, and, and untracked, and he did that. His blocking's been really, really good, but we were able to use him more in the passing game because they weren't taking him away like they have in past weeks. Uh, so, yeah, Cole's, Cole's always been there. It's just a matter if we can find him. You brought in Avery Childs, a quarterback mm -hmm. in the second half. Was that due to any health concerns for yeah. Donovan, or you just wanted to change it no, up? No, it was. No, Donovan, Donovan had re-aggravated his injury from the week before um, and, and really couldn't move, and, and I didn't feel good about leaving him out there when he couldn't really scramble and run like he needed to at times. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just asked, I said, can you go? He goes, yeah, but I, I'm going to be hard-pressed to, to really run. I said, well, then we need to get you out. And Avery, we have full confidence in you. You've got a lot of miles under your belt now. And, and he did a really good job, especially leading us on those second half drives to get us down there. And Desmond Nesby is first mm -hmm. rushing touchdown. How big will that be for his confidence going forward? I think it'll be really, really big. He's, he's, um, he was a different kid after that, a different you know, player. He, it got him reignited, and, and, and I think he's going to do some really big things this week. Jamarcus Jones, I mean, what more can you say about him? Yeah. Second game of over 100 yards yeah. and any more superlatives to describe He's just a workhorse, and, and he has such a relentless attitude. And, and I, get, I have a problem using the word relentless because I think it's overused, but he really is. I mean, he plays, he plays with a white-hot fire, and, and, and uh, you just some things you can coach, some things you can't, and you can't coach that. 
And on defense, Jalen King, we have to start calling him Mr. Pickman because he got another one <laughs> yeah, in this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, improvement from the defense, did you see? Yeah, the defense, I thought, um, especially in the second half, stiffened up quite a bit, uh, played better. Uh, you know, we were playing without six starters last week and, and two in the defensive line. So, you know, that may, or three in the defensive line. So that makes a big difference, you know, when you start to get those guys back from the injuries and, and, and the young guys stepping up and having to make plays. Uh, I, I think we're developing depth and, and uh, I think we'll see some more improvement. It's first and 10 with Rams coach Joe Prudhomme on Ramsports.net. Last weekend, the bye. Did they ever come too soon or not soon enough? Or how was the bye week? What'd it couldn't you, have been any better. Right. <laughs> it couldn't right. have been any better. Okay. I mean, you know, you got to ride a bus for 19, 20 hours. <laughs> That's right. Um, and your kids are worn out. Your coaches are worn out. Uh, and, and we had a bunch of knick-knack injuries. You know, none of them really major. Maybe, you know, one that wasn't really good. But, but most of them gets a chance to heal, uh, get a chance to, to really work on some fundamental stuff that we wanted to work on anyway. Um, and give some kids reps that had been getting reps in practice. So, you know, you, you're continually trying to develop them as you go along. And, and your frontline guys you want to improve, and then your younger guys you want to develop. So, And another SAC game doesn't get any easier. Number 14 in the NAIA, Langston Lions. Mm -hmm. Last year you played them up there. Mm -hmm. This year you have them at Farrington, 7 mm -hmm. o'clock, by the way, with mm -hmm. a Hank FM 92.1 Ram Zone starting at 5 o'clock. Come out and tailgate and get ready mm -hmm. for Langston. Yeah. What do you see in them? Anything different from last year's club? Oh, yeah, they're very explosive. Uh, you know, they're well coached. What they do is they don't take as many chances as some teams do um, on defense especially. And, and so they force you to beat them. And, and that makes it really tough because they, they got great athletes. they got great technique. And they're going to count on you beating yourself. And that's... And that's why they've been so successful for so long. I mean, if you get to that point to where you can have that philosophy and it's, and it's successful, man, that's, that's, a, that's a great thing to have. Offensively, they got some playmakers on offense that can go. The quarterback's great. A couple of receivers that are really good. Their running back is, is one of the best we'll see. Um, so we have to tackle well. That, that, for us, if we tackle well, don't turn the ball over, then we feel like we can play with it. How does that quarterback, Jalen Lowe, look? He's good. I mean, he's slippery. If you can keep him in the pocket, you got a shot. If you can, if you have coverage going on, once he breaks the pocket, all bets are off. He can go. He can score from 80 yards out. He can scramble. You know, stand up, throw a dime. So you have to really contain him to make it to have a chance against him. And you have him at home. And the last home game was, of course, the mm -hmm. first win on the field in 77 years against Texas College. So yep. that has to help. And you have the first of two back-to-back -back home yep. games. Yep. It's good to be back home. We love playing at home. Uh, love being in front of the home crowd. Our routine's a little, a uh, little better, we think. And it's just. It's home. I mean, you know, we practice there, we play there, so that, that's something we're looking forward to. Is Donovan Ice Iceman Isom going to be okay? Yeah, the week's been good to him. Good. The week's been good to him. He, he's been needing a little bit of time anyway to kind of heal up for some of the knick-knack injuries he has. So, yeah, we feel like he's going to be full go. <laughs> Hispanic Heritage theme on Saturday night. Again, 5 o'clock, 92.1 Hank FM will do the Ram Zone, and we'll see you on ramsports.net on Saturday night. So long, everybody.